whatever we are building, it's not something which is finding traction into the day-to-day -day world. Like when you build an e-com company, you build a food tech company, it's very easy to take it out of the market and do a scale thing, right? So your brand actually gets recognized. What we're building is in deep tech. And as of now, we have been selling it to certain corporations, certain agencies, which has very confidential nature and business, right? So, so we talk about defense, right? So whatever stuff that we're doing is not really in public domain, right? So thank you very much for recognizing, do your research and then uh, uh, acknowledging what we're doing. On top of it, I guess uh, one thing that makes Grey Colonel very unique is our core DNA, right? So me and my partner Pranjal, both of us have certain things in common. One is that we are gamers. Second is we are movie buffs, so we like a lot of super evil movies, we are Marvel fans and all, right? And third is we have not really done substantially well in our early set of education, right? So somewhere or the other, when we corrected three of the dots, we realized that it is important for us to think about gamification, think about how do we utilize technology and gamification in the way HCI is driven. Say human computer interaction. We talk about man machine interfaces and all those things, you know. So that's where we started doing certain things, right? So one of the key ideas that we have been believing and we have been actually building in houses, uh, it, it's not an overstatement or could be taken as, right? So you have seen Jarvis. Imagine when you have a force like Jarvis guarding your borders or patrolling your borders, right? So these are the kind of initiatives that we are trying to build. So building tactical aids for defense forces, getting them better training and assessment tools, you know, that's the key motto and that's the technology that we are building. Guess um, uh, the kind of a, a futuristic forces, the kind of a watch that we are going to see in future, if at all. I'm not very optimistic about watch, but we have to be always ready if something comes in picture, yeah. So the kind of a watch that we are going to have in uh, see in next decade or maybe end of this decade, if at all there are threats like that, then it won't be really run on directly manpower of the human resources and there is no point having casualties where you can actually drive a lot of wars using technology right so that what makes our proposition very unique and we really feel we can add a lot of value by saving human lives by guarding or patrolling our borders our country our nation very well you know and uh, in india we are one of the only sort of people who have been focusing on it we have been having a long-term vision that makes us very unique I really am learning, so I'm not really the right set of person to preach people about what we're doing. But one core cool thing that I have learned so far is you have to say start dreaming today, right? Um, and uh, whatever dreams that you get, right? Even in the nascent stage, you have to believe in it, you know? And you have to stay there, right? One of the core cool lessons, the first lesson of my entrepreneurship life was uh, given by one of my bosses. He said money would come maybe a bit late, maybe it doesn't arrive at all in the next one, two, three years, but you have to stay there, you know. Perseverance, persistence is the key of what you do in your life, you know. I guess that's the only thing I can talk.